Welcome to world, no heroes and villains Welcome to war, we've only begun So, pick up your weapon and face it There's blood on the crown, go and take it You get one shot to make it out alive So, higher and higher you chase it It's deep in your bones, go and take it This is your moment now is your time, so prove yourself and Hi guys, I'm Bush Whatever here, back with another video. And for today, I'll be doing a new part of What if Deku had Hajime's powers? Well, we last stepped off when Izuku uh, and the others actually came back from, you know, the Areforeta universe. Obviously, Izuku having all of his wives, meaning, you know, best all of the girls that Izuku had or Hajime has plus Mina and Momo and yeah but after that basically when they got out um, of the portal they were still in the classroom which let's just say that one of the I guess one of the pro heroes I guess oh yeah no how about yeah midnight mi midnight yeah Midnight just uh, goes to the room just to check on, you know, if um, if it's still organized and stuff, if somebody, you know, tried to mess with it. But what they saw was, what Midnight saw was all of them. Izuku having, you know, white hair and stuff. Being more of a Chad, let me just say Chad. Emphasize the Chad, by the way. But... Yeah, basically Izuku being a Chad and stuff is, and yeah, and there are these um, other girls that um, are with them, and yeah. So basically, after that, um, they went to you no know, midnight. I uh, was wondering, uh, what happened? Basically, everybody looked at midnight and she said. BC said, Oh, hiyo gozaimas! <laughs> basically, like, nonchalantly, and BC Midnight just says, Again, wh what happened? Because she was surprised at this, because reason being, if your students were, let's just say, gone for a while, wouldn't you be su surprised when they surprisingly get back? So, yeah, that's the reason. Midnight immediately, and I mean immediately, goes to UA. And yeah, no, no not, not goes to UA, goes to, the, to Principal Nezu. And what the, um, when Nezu heard that Class 1 is back and stuff, he was surprised because he really thought that they were gone and stuff because, you know, there was no trace, there was no evidence, there was no blood. Kapoof! Basically, they vanish like the wind. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. That basically happened. So, what happens next is that they call All Might and Aizawa because one of their teachers as well. To, actually, two of their teachers. So, they called them. And basically, Nezu asked um, All Might. Uh, where did you go? All Might just asks, Well, you have to sit down for this. By the way, Nezu is um, standing up because, um, you know, for reasons. And basically, he just says, Nonsense. And basically, Azawa just says, I am sure you will need it. Please, Principal Nezu. Again, Nezu said, Nonsense. Continue, please. And basically, well, Aizawa and All Might explain everything. Which, Nezu had to sit down. <laughs> yes, Nezu had to sit down for that. And, yeah. And basically, they... Actually, Aizawa asked, um... How long have we been gone? They just say, um... 
A week. A week. Yeah, a week. They were gone a week. And I thought of a surprise because what? A week? Because reason being, they were in, in uh, Arifarete for a long time. And I mean, not that I take a long, but it's longer than a week. So, he was surprised about that. So, yeah. What happens is basically like, ah, oh, ah, oh, shoot. Um, can I call um, Midoriya over here, please? Uh, Principal Nezu. Aizawa asked uh, Nezu. Aizawa, uh, Nezu just says that, sure. And basically, um, you can hear in the comms that saying, uh, we're calling for Mr. Izuku Midoriya. Please come to the principal's office. And BC said, Oh, man. And BC saying that, oh, Well, guys, I gotta go. But before he got, he, you know, went to the, went to the principal's office, Yui basically tagged on, uh, tugged on, on his, um, clothes and basically says, Nah, -uh. we're, we're coming with you. Mina as Mina and Momo as well, so yeah, and basically as well as um their child, uh, I forgot uh Ua 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 Ua, yeah it's Ua, my bad I just checked in the wiki it's Mew sorry, but yeah, basically Mew, um they talked for a while with um basically they. <laughs> They basically argue a little bit for saying that no, I gotta go. Maybe they just says no. Mio just says no. Papa, Papa, I want to be with you. <laughs> that sounds wrong, but Izuku just says, Mio, what did you say? Mio just says, I want to be with you. Go, go to the principal's office, as they say. And basically, Izuku had a sigh of relief. <laughs> you, you, you know when uh when your child or when your daughter wants to marry your um marry their father and stuff saying that I want to marry Papa basically saying that which is <sighs> Izuka was sweating bullets <laughs> he was sweating bullets because he doesn't want to get run over by the FBI <laughs> yes the FBI boys the FBI but yeah what happens next is that um. They basically go to the principal's office because there's no point in arguing. So Mina and Momo, uh, as well, uh, yeah, Mina and Momo, as well as the harem, are you know going to going to the I guess yeah going to the uh, if I remember correctly the principal's office, as well as um Mew's mother by the way Mew's mother. So yeah. What happens next is that um, Izuku basically arrives at the door, knock, knocks on the door first, and basically uh, Nezu said, said, "Come in." And Izuku came and uh, with uh, all of the all his harem. And basically, Izawa just said, "Problem child, we really need to be with your harem." Izuku just says, "There's no point in complaining. I tried, Izawa." As I was saying, I tried. I tried to fight back, but nope, they're, they're too persistent. And basically, as I was just says, women, women are terrifying creatures. <laughs> yes, terrifying creatures. I am, I am sorry for, uh, to be honest, I don't think of women as terrifying creatures. They're just, um, I like, um, it's surprising to say that uh, what a woman would do just um, to help their lover. It's just surprising for me, which I understand as well. Beca uh, because of reason being, I love um, I love it. I love uh, people trying to trying to you know um, be um, be helpful with, with with each other in a relationship. So that's kind of good for me. And yeah. After that, uh, basically, as I, um, actually, Nezu just asked, basically saying that, uh, Nezu, uh, 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 Mr. Midoya, what happened? Um, Izuku gave the exact same, and I mean exact same, 
um, uh, I guess, speech, ano, info that Aizawa gave. And basically, he just says, yeah. And Aizawa, um, Nezu just says, so you're wondering as well that how long have you been, um, you've been gone? And Izuku just says, yes, a little bit. Um, they, he just, Aizawa butts in and basically says, one week. Izuku just says, oh man, what, one week? Oh. Well, that's, um, kind of, kind of low, to say. I, I thought, I thought it would be a month at least. Aizawa just says, you and me, problem child. You and, you and me both. But, yeah, that is basically what happens. And Izuku actually having an idea was wondering as well, because how could Yue cover this up? Or, um, you know, what did the police say as a speech? Izuku just, I- Izuku asked the, asked Nezu, basically said, uh, Nezu, uh, Principal Nezu, can I ask you something? Nezu just says, uh, ask the way, Mr. Midoriya. Izuku just asked, uh, um, Principal Nezu, what did the police say when we disappeared? They just, Nezu just says that, well, they said that you were taken by villains. Izuku just said, huh, something shady is happening. I don't know why. BC same, uh, Aizawa sensei. Aizawa just says, yes, problem child. I need your help. You're the best, you're, you're the best man for this. I need you, I need you to do me, to do me a job, Aizawa sensei. And Aizawa asks, um, and then, and what is the job? I, Izuka explains that something's fishy in the, something is really fishy about the police or the hero government. Can you look at it, please? Izuka, Aizawa just says, I can see, I will see what I can do, but I have no promises. Izuka just says, just, uh, just look into it. I need to know something. Because reason being, it's strange that they point immediately to villains. They could say that uh, we could go on a trip. Yeah, yeah. We, they could say that we gone on a trip and just you know just uh, never came back and maybe got lost or something. But that story is kind of suspicious. Izuku continues, says, yes, I know, we have villains and all, but not all villains are, are, are that cruel. To kidnap, and I mean kidnap a lot of, a lot of heroes, uh, a, a lot of future heroes, by the way, which is kind of odd that they resort to this. Which, that's why I need you to scout the, to spy on them for a while, please, as I was saying. Which Aizawa agrees, and yeah. So after that, they they agreed, and uh, Nezu just was um, hearing this and basically saying the. So Mr. Midoya, so Mr. Midoya, you're thinking that we have uh, that the that the hero government is false. Are you correct? Am I correct? Izuku just says. Yes, something is really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. I, I don't know why, but... It's just that... Why would they resort to villains immediately? This is when they... And when there are a lot of possible scenarios, but villains... Odd. Really, really odd. So, I need I I need Aizawa Sensei to help me with this. So yeah, which, and Principal Nezu, can I ask a favor as well? And is it Nezu just says sure, Midoriya, sure, Mister Midoriya. What what is it? Midoriya just says, Mister Nezu, I want you. I want you, please, to. To help me. No, no, not to help me, but help me protect the students from 
I guess, corruption, you could say. Because I have a feeling that this isn't this isn't what we thought of heroes. Which I have to explain this to my classmates. They need to know. Nezu just said, certainly, it's fine. But, and I agree with you as well. Something is fishy. Now that, now that I think about it. Something's really fishy. And BC says, and Izuku BC, no. Yeah, and Izuku BC says, is that all? Can I go back now? Nezo just agrees to say, yes you can. And BC, they, they go back. What happens next is this. Izuku basically saying, Izuku now going to class and BC with his harem, which his harem actually, uh, you know, heard everything. And uh, when Yui comes up to Izuku and BC saying that, so Izuku, um... What, the, what are you planning now? Izuku just says, first get to the bottom of this, and second, maybe do some, maybe do some stuff. Because it's really weird, to be honest, it's really weird. But yeah. Well, basically, Yuri just says, well, whatever you do, I support you. Tio says, I support you as well. Yui just says, I, I support you too, Papa. Basically, everyone in his harem, as well as Momo and uh, Mina says that, we support you as well, Izuku. Don't worry. And yeah, that happens. What happens next is this, uh, they, they went to the classroom, their classroom and stuff. And, Basically, Izuku explains about something, and basically, Izuku says to everyone, Can someone please lock the door? Izuku just says, uh, and uh, let's just say, Ira, uh, so, uh, Ida locked the door, and BC saying that, okay. Something is fishy about our government. One of them asks us, I guess, uh, who I guess, who, 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 me, no, 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 uh, Suyu, no, uh, Jiro, Jiro, yeah, Jiro. Jiro asks, basically saying that, uh, what do you mean, Midoriya? Izuko just says, well, the thing is, when I talked to Nezu and asked, uh, what the excuse was, what was the verdict that when, that we went away, they they immediately say that it was the villains, a hero attack, a, a villain attack basically, but it's suspicious, right? Does anybody agree? Some of them agreed, yeah. Some of them some some of them disagreed, uh, because of yeah, it's villains. What do you expect? Villains are villains, but Izuku. But the, the people that agreed are Bakugo, Todoroki, even though Bakugo, uh, if, even though Todoroki uh, hasn't got the speech yet, uh, you will know uh, later that he will get the speech, but for now. Basically, he was, um, he asked Midoriya, basically say that, Midoriya, can, can you elaborate for us, please? Can you elaborate uh, what, what you meant by that? Izuku says that this, well, is it, is it really right that they immediately point to the villains if something went wrong? If I was there, I would check every nook and cranny, by the way, but it's odd, really, really odd. Am I correct or not? They just say, yeah, it's a little bit suspicious, but... What do you have? I don't have yet. That's the reason that I said to Aizawa Sensei that we need to scout the air. We, we we need to scout the the pro the I guess the police and stuff because it's really really suspicious. This they point and I and I and I say they point immediately to the villains. 
It's not the right. Something is wrong. And yeah. BC, what they did, and uh, they continue on doing. Um, let let's just say that they continue doing. Um, uh, let's see. Basically, they agreed, and um, the ones that that disagree actually agreed this time because because Izuku has a valid point that um it was really really suspicious really suspicious so yeah sorry for the noise but yeah that happens and basically all might just goes to the door and basically says that um no knocks on the door and bc said can i come in Izuku just said, Izuku says, Izuku says, yes, wait a moment, and basically unlock the door. What happens is basically like, All Might explaining about the sports festival, and Izuku saying that, okay, and everybody saying, agreeing, basically, and yeah. So what happens next is really this. They for basically it was on Thursday. The sports festival was on Thursday. They had three days until they um no two days until to prepare for the sports festival. Nobody di- disagreed because they thought that to prove that you were still strong and that they did their job, which is um I'm gonna take uh, one from my what ifs. It's BS. But yeah, it's it's cap. It's cap. But hey. Well, continuing. Basically, in those two weeks, Izuku was actually. Izuku and his team, as well as everybody. Yeah. Me and. Uh, no. Izuku and his team were just spying. We're just yeah spying on the every single move that the police made, as well as everybody in the class. They find it suspicious, so almost everybody um in the class were helping them of this because yeah it's suspicious as I said, but Izuku just found one thing. One thing only, and basically that they they knew that they were being watched or something. That basically that they knew that they were being watched. That not not Izuku, but the the police, the government and stuff. They knew what they're doing, and Izuku was hmm. Basically has a basically a Sherlock face, and basically say that. Huh. I need more information. So yeah, that happens. And what happens next is that they eventually the day came of sports festival, and the sports festival basically. Yeah, but the sports festival is um is now, and still every everything goes to canon in the you know in the ceremony. Uh. But in Bob ba- Bob um was the one that you know still gave the speech, but um uh yeah but um I guess Kotsky says that anyone can be a hero even if you're quirkless, saying that and um yeah prove them wrong prove everybody wrong with your pow- with your will power. And yeah, basically everybody riled up about this because it was actually inspirational speech and stuff. Basically, that's the basic concept of it. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the noise, but yeah. After that, they basically went back to the I guess. What should I say? This um to the they went to the start of uh you know the. I guess to the. 
uh, what was it again? The um, race? Yeah, the race. So, um, what happens next is this. They start in the finish, uh, not, not the finish line, but they basically start and um, Izuku actually using float and black whip, by the way. And I forgot what the quirks are that I gave Izuku a little bit. Um, it's a little bit fuzzy in my head, but um, basically using those quirks and stuff. I guess if I remember, I, but yeah, I, I remember one quirk and it's, Basically, Izuku uses Shadow Step. Yes, Shadow Step. If you guys remember, Izuku, Izuku has um, this quirk, basically make, making a clone of himself out of Shadow, and he can trade places with it. So, before the match, Izuku actually did a cheeky little thing, uh, put it, putting a clone in the darkness of the, I guess the are the end the finish line. And basically, he, so quote unquote, and I mean quote unquote, really, um, tried, and I mean tried to win, but <laughs> he he already won, and he immediately when the zero pointer came, he said, "I don't want to deal with this," and basically grabs, um, all of his harem basically because of. Actually, no. He grabs Mina and Momo and basically shadow steps and basically, ah, we're here. And basically, Izuku runs and them still feeling a dazed and stuff. And uh, they start running and they got second place. Second and third place, actually. But yeah. So for the cavalry battle, well, I guess Izuku will, would be with, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Katsuki, Momo, and Mina. Yeah, Katsuki, Momo, Mina. And, uh, Izuku was the rider. Izuku actually has his guns, by the way. Izuku has his guns. Which, uh, which are actually made with, um, actually uses rubber bullets. Izuku still has the mentality of, you know, still, um, kill or be killed. But, but the thing is, he will only kill if necessary now. Because he learned that um, killing is a uh, if is if is only used when if necessary and stuff, which yeah, which Izuku actually has the guns on his holster, ruby and sapphire, which um, Izuku actually uses black whip now, yeah, black whip basically grabbing the headbands and stuff and actually winning, yeah, he won. And for the battle, I guess Izuku versus Shinzo. Uh, first bout, um, Izuku. Izuku actually, uh, when Izuku heard that Shinzo was, you know, a mind a mind controller. Uh, yeah, has a mind control quirk. So yeah, Izuku basically fights Shinzo in this one, and. Um, when he fights Shinzo, it's it's a one-sided bout, <laughs> to be honest. It's one-sided. Izuku obliterated Shinzo. <sighs> it's it is in a contest to, to say, but Shinzo said uh, things that he said. Uh, people think you are your quirk. Izuku just says, and people think you are useless without a quirk. You never understand. You would never understand because you weren't, you weren't the people, or you weren't me, back then. But everybody turned their back on me. Everybody looked me down, pushed me around. Everybody they didn't even care that I was alive. The the only thing to make me suffer, except for two people. They always been. The ones that help me every day. But. <laughs> what I learned. Nobody's truly a hero. They had. Or they had to do. Some shady stuff. Or bad things to do. The heroic deed. No hero is truly pure. Pure heroics. 
nothing that is fiction. People always had a reason to do it. But, except for one person in particular, All Might, well, it was the special case. Always want to make people smile, even if he was hurting. And yeah, that happens. And uh, what happens next is that, you know, um, Izuku beat him through a blade. Po uh, Izuku actually b beat him. And this move, the Izuku's speech moved the crowd because of, yeah, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't be moved? This is, by this speech alone, it's so moving. And yeah, so after that, they, it wasn't even a contest, they, Izuku won, uh, next one is, um, oh, every, every fight goes not close, uh, goes similar, not, not per se exactly, but similar, uh, fights, but the winners are, if there are class 1A fights, the class 1A wins. And if Sero versus Todoroki, I think Todoroki would win again. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Now, uh, is the, um, is the Todoroki versus Izuku fight. Izuku, first of all, fighting Todoroki, um, explains everything that has happened in his life. And Izuku just says, do you want me to repeat again what I said? You don't know pain, true, true pain, when you don't, if you don't really be the one that receives almost all of the pain. Because Izuku, in this, in this what if, he actually received all of the pain, basically. In his class, um, even teachers start, started beating up in, on him. And yeah, it's, it wasn't good, really. And um, in the sidelines, you can see freaking, uh, freaking All Might. Uh, sorry for, I guess it's not costing, I guess. But uh, you you can see All Might doing, uh, dialing uh, numbers and basically saying, um, get me Young Midoriya's um, um, school records. Where did he go in high school, in middle school? And basically, he's say, saying that, and on the phone saying that, um, shut it down, shut it down, <laughs> basically saying that you, you can, s basically, you can just see that, uh, the hatred in, in uh, All Might's eyes in the society, because, yeah, All Might did everything just for the society, but it was, uh, false and stuff, but, yeah. Well, after that, um, Izuku still gave the speech that it's your court, not his. And um, actually, the fight still ensues, and uh, Izuku actually win. Next one is... I'm going to skip all of them. Uh, next one is... Um, was the final bout? Izuku versus Katsuki. Katsuki, Katsuki Bakugo. But um, the winner is obviously Izuku, experience with a lot of quirks and versatility as well, using a lot of his skills that he you know learned, like air slash. Um, I guess. Um, uh, I guess if I if I remember, it was called acceleration or I I forgot what is it, but the what the rabbit did and um, I guess. Every, th I guess, what the rabbit's abilities are and stuff. So yeah. Which it was a full hand hand combat and uh, Izuku wins. Which uh, Izuku received the medal and uh, All Might actually gives him gives a speech that these are the future heroes of the of the generation. And BC and BC they have seen the truth of this world and they want to renew it. Basically saying that, and, uh, yeah. And, um, Izuku went home and, cele and celebrated with his wives. And, uh, and you're, like, you're wondering, what does Inko think about this? <laughs> Let's just say, Inko was surprised that Izuku had a lot of wives. Let's just say that. Well, to be honest, 
this is the first time they met. They met after the you know sports festival. Basically, let let's just, let just go to Inko's perspective. Basically, when she heard the knock on the door, she opened it and basically say, "Who is it?" And basically saw Izuku with a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, a lot of women. <laughs> and basically, Izuku, uh, she got uh, she tackles Izuku to the ground and basically said, "Izuku, uh, where were you, honey?" And basically continuing and basically asking, um, "Who are these uh, fine women?" Izuku explains that. They are his wives and stuff, and explain about the you know the unit that he was um in the in a different world and stuff, which Inko took um uh, it actually seriously and stuff that you can actually you know be transported and stuff, which he she knows that Izuku won't lie so yeah, and basically they celebrate and eat and uh, and basically let's just say that. Izuku confronts the girls and BC saying that, "What do you like about my son?" And that's it. That's where I'm gonna be leaving it off. Sorry for the cliffhanger though, but yeah, um, that's where I'm gonna be leaving it off. I hope you guys enjoyed the series though. I'm sorry for the late update of this series, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the series and as well as um, ah. Uh, can you give can you give me quirks for um the Izuku over here? Because I need some help with those. Um I know I know I stated a lot of quirks back then but um it's been a while it's a little bit uh um foggy for my head. So I need um quirks um that can help Izuku in this one. Which um if you heard the story, you you would know uh, where this is going and stuff, so yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and like I always say, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later. Bye!